Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to the ninth and final part of my Platinum walkthrough for The Surge. Right, we're in the previous video we just finished off New Game. We'd got all the trophies up to that point, so we just finished both endings, hopefully got both of them done. And then you'll be back at the main menu once you finish uh, New Game and you'll be ready to move on to New Game Plus. So what you're going to do from there is just go to, your, go to Continue Game, go to the Save File and then uh, just carry on. You can see there it says New Game Plus and as you load it up you'll start back here uh, in the train in the wheelchair we're going right back i'm surprised it actually starts here it's a bit strange that it does to be honest i'd expect it to start in the next section so i'm just going to leave this in while i, I kind of go over what we're doing here so there's going to be four trophies that we're going for 52 minutes uh, well 52 and a half minutes is how long the video is and that is how long it's going to take to do kind of a speed run uh, in quotation marks there to get to the sunglasses that's essentially where we need to get to. The beginning of R&D, research and development. And that's all we need to do, really. <laughs> there are three other trophies I'll be getting along the way. Uh, getting to level 80, that's just going to happen. Uh, Jack of all trades, which is the first one I'm going to do here. That is for getting level 5 proficiency on all weapon types. And then uh, also we need to kill a boss with its own weapon. We need to kill three bosses, so you've got three choices. Uh, try and do it with all three, just in case anything goes wrong, though. And uh, yeah, if you're going to follow me with the DLC, then uh, yeah, at the beginning, by the way, as you start the game, you'll need to re-equip everything. Everything should be in your inventory still. Uh, it will be in your inventory still. So equip everything you were using beforehand at the end of the previous playthrough, and you can just carry on. I'm just going to run past this guy. This guy ahead of me is a new type of enemy that will spawn. Uh, they're one-offs, but they appear in different places. Uh, always the same place. Like if he'll appear here for you as well. Um, they're really tough versions of enemies, so just run past them. <laughs> of course, if you want to fight through and and uh, do everything properly, then go for it. But I'm going to try and do it as quickly as possible. I will fight a few enemies, but apart from that, I'm just trying to do it as quickly as possible to get to that one point. So if you're going to do the DLCs, uh, then you've got two options. I'm going to give you two options really. You can do it at the end of new game. Uh, you will have everything open to you and you can do it there. So if you want to use the save that you used for the endings earlier on, uh, you can use that one. Obviously move it if you're going to do any backup saves during this video. Uh, move it onto another USB or something so you don't lose it. Or you can do it at the very end of this video. That's uh, as we get into R&D. That's the best place, the best time to do the DLCs. The first DLC we'll do uh, Walk in the Park is fully open at that point. Otherwise you'll have to come back. Uh, you have to get to R&D before it fully opens up both parts of it. Uh, and then the other one you can kind of do at any point after you've finished uh, the game. So once you're at the end of the game, you'll have all of the rooms. Because it's, it's like a challenge room type thing. You'll have them all available to you. Uh, so yeah, it's up to you. In New Game Plus, you're going to find it a little bit more difficult. By the way, what I'm doing here is I'm going to be farming proficiency on the all five of the weapon type. Well... The three that I haven't got five on already. Uh, I can't actually do it now because we need to get the power core first. I'm gonna, I've, I've equipped the weapon anyway. So I'm going to get the power core, turn it in, and then uh, and then we'll do it. So, yeah, if you want to keep that save, if you're going to find it difficult at the end of new at the end of this playthrough in New Game Plus, uh, well, not at the end, at the end of this video, uh, then maybe just keep your backup save from uh, earlier on and try it then so just a warning so don't go over the top of it and I'll, I'll go on a bit more about the DLC once we get to the end of this video there's an item there another thing I'm not gonna be picking up items and putting all that in it's it's a run through if you want to slow down and pick everything up and kill the enemies then that's uh, that's up to you but I'm not gonna be doing that it's just the four trophies that I'm going for and that's it so quit out there, and then I'm just going to jump back in. Do we have a, a level here? We do, so I'm on 79, 699 left. No consumables. So on we go. Uh, so I'm not going to show this whole thing, but what I do here is with these first three enemies, uh, and then the, the fourth one in the, the pipe as well, is get all the weapon proficiency um, out the way, up to level 5. So I don't have to switch weapons while I'm running around and killing enemies. It was why why I did this was its quickest way to do the video. I can do all the weapon proficiencies here, farming these guys. You can actually see, watch the proficiency in the bottom left. It goes up fairly quickly. Oh no, can't watch because it faded. <laughs> that was quick, wasn't it? So this is actually the final one. I've run back. I've done all of the what the uh, the proficiencies, uh, and this is the final one, the single rigged. 
Uh, yeah, it's just easier. If I can switch to my best weapon and just run through the game, it's going to make this video shorter and quicker and uh, easier to watch, basically, uh, rather than having to kill every single enemy because I um, need to get jack-of-all-trades. So there we go. Single rigged is the final one I needed. So you'll need to do all the, the different ones, the staves, the single rigged, and all that. <sighs> right, that's that out of the way. I can just run through, and that's pretty much what we're going to do. There's another one of the really tough ones. You can tell when the really tough enemies appear because they do, uh, they dodge like that to the side a lot um, and kind of juke your attacks and things like that. They're quite annoying. There he is. So yeah, we're using iframes here to our advantage, only just. I'm going to open up some of the shortcuts along the way, so just in case anything happens to you, uh, you can just run back. You don't need to run through if you if you don't want to, you it can obviously take your time. I mean, it is a fun game, so maybe do it. <laughs> but if you want to just get through it as quickly as possible, you can do it in less than an hour. So uh, there's also that. Uh, yeah. So again, you might it, with the weapon proficiency, you don't have to farm them like I just did. You can just play normally. Again, I just did it for the speed of the video, uh, condensing it. And those first four enemies are very easy. And they actually give you a lot of proficiency per kill as well. It's uh, quite surprising. So run through here into the boss area. It won't spawn yet. We just need to go in the dark area and turn on the switch there. That's going to get him to appear. So the next trophy we're going to get is actually kill a boss with its own weapon. And that's going to, the first one we're going to do here is Pax. That's not going to open up yet. That's the shortcut. So I need to kill a couple here. Uh, one thing you will may want to do as well is cut off the weapons uh, from these first few enemies. And maybe some of the, um, if you want to, some of the armor parts as well to get upgrade materials. Because it does start again. I definitely recommend doing the, the weapons. So get nine of these lower ones. And then get nine of the ones from the, the guys with the hammer, the mark. I think it's six from those ones. Uh, is it six or seven? I think it's seven. It's six and seven. These give you six. The other ones give you seven. So get some of those so you can upgrade your weapons. Um, and that's about all you need to really worry about. It's just going to make bosses uh, a bit quicker and easier. So you need to come down here, overcharge this, and that's going to open up the boss area. You get the Frontier Rider Season Pass there. That's for the DLC. So uh, that's why we need to be in New Game Plus. Everything's opened up at this point. Hopefully. <laughs> no, it has. So I'm just going to go back home and uh, fight the boss. If you want to go and open the shortcut off to the left, you can go and do that. I'm not going to. I'm just going to fight the boss. Uh, so shout out to Trophy Fanatic for this little tip here. Uh, you don't need to fight the boss in the in its entirety with its own weapon. You just need to get the killing blow, which is good because the Pax weapon is really slow. So yeah, it's just you've fought one of these before. I'm going to leave the boss fights in, but you've fought them all before. This guy more than uh, more than most probably. So yeah, go for the leg, and uh, yeah, you're going to see how much damage New Game Plus does as well, uh, because I do get kind of carried away, as you do in New Game Plus in games, that's, what, that's how they get you, you know, you're, just, you're used to the game, I got stuck under his foot, I mean, look, that took my whole life bar out nearly, <laughs> that was crazy, um, so yeah, you, what you want to do again is just remove the blue shields off his feet, or uh, hide under it when it starts doing the rocket. So I'm just trying to be aggressive, get it down as quickly as possible. That's not a good idea to be under there. That was lucky. It is an awful heavy hit, that. So it's doing the rockets, it's going to hit itself. If you want PAX version 2 again, you'll need to not have it do that. But I mean, who cares at this point, we just want to kill it. A bit all over the place here on the lock-on. I don't know why it's dancing around like that. It didn't actually do too much damage to it, unfortunately. So stick to whichever weapon you have been using at this point. You just need to switch it right at the end. That's what we'll do. And it still takes forever to kill a bloody thing with its own weapon. <laughs> Thankfully got a lot of healing items as well. Getting a bit overzealous. Come on. Let's see those shiny wires. I think both of them are off. No, one's off. We've not even got the first one off. That was the first one. And now, of course, it won't lift that leg up anymore. I think it's going to go for the... Yeah, they've got both off now. So it's going to go for the rockets again. 
hang underneath it. And then I actually switch to attacking the back of it. You do need to break the, the thing off the back of it first, but you don't seem to move as much when you attack the back. So it's a better option. And then you're just kind of waiting for it to lift its foot now. And uh, then it'll fall over. Like so. I've gone for the front again. Should have done that. He's get it's weird. Look at it all over the place. That's not me moving the camera. It's just dancing all over the place. So get it down to a decent amount. You do want to get it pretty low because chances are you haven't upgraded the pack's weapon, um, or if it's the the weapon you use. Obviously, you don't need to switch. Just keep going for it. Um, I will be fighting Firebug as well with its own weapons, so I would naturally get it there. But we might as well try and get it here. So I'm going to do a, quite a bit of damage to it. Obviously, take care here that you don't accidentally kill it. And then I'm going to switch to packs. Uh, this big single rig, rig thing here. Oh no, it got up. <laughs> see, it's, you're going to see how annoying it is now. You need to preempt its attacks because you're so slow. Oh, that's just a normal R1 as well. I should have switched back to my uh, my regular weapons for this. So slow. <laughs> oh, it's not even funny. Yes, finally. Right, let's get this final hit in. There. Okay, and you'll get the trophy. Was that yours? If you didn't, for whatever reason, uh, while using the packs, then you do have two more bosses you can get. try it on. Uh, the next boss, this is actually the weapon from the next boss, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll use that naturally. And now, uh, yeah, just moving on. Next thing I'm going to do is going to get to core power 80. Uh, I will also show you where Davey is, just to remind you in case you that glitched on you for whatever reason. That's obviously in Central Production B here. So we will get that as well. You need to go through all the motions, unfortunately, so you need to get your drone back out and things like that. Might as well stick around while you're going through this. But there's uh, honestly not too much to uh, to say about. I'm going to skip this because we don't need to watch that. You need to, you unfortunately, you do need to go through the dialogue with the drone. <laughs> you can't just quit out, and it'll uh, unlock this. But yeah, I'll kind of go through the reasonings and remind you where shortcuts are because it is a maze, and you may still not be used to where you're going. Man, it's coming down out there. You can't see it, but it is. <laughs> So we're going to go up, nope, we're not going to go up, it's down of course. I'm going to go down, we're going to shoot the drone, we're just going to run um, into the med bay. And this might be the point where I actually do get the core power trophy. Yes, I think it is, yeah. Um, up to level 80. So at any point during this playthrough, you may already have it. It's a good chance you probably do. You do need to power it though, unfortunately, I forgot about that. Uh, so yeah, you can get... Chop the weapon, uh, the arm off this guy. You can actually farm it if you want to want to do that. He's gonna obviously respawn this big one. I was ready for him, and he still managed to get me. That's not good, was it? Because you're gonna to want to upgrade your weapon, and you'll want to do it pretty soon as well, because it's just gonna help. It's gonna be tungsten mark. Is that seven? That's seven there. It's a bit off. <laughs> We're using lower res in this preview, so yeah, seven. So you need nine of it, so you can actually farm him over and over again until you get it and then do it. I don't actually do it, I'll wait until later on. But if you want to do that and get it out of the way, then uh, yes, feel free. Uh, a backup save would not be a bad idea here. There's core power, so it, for the DLC reasons, that's all. If you're not bothered about DLC, then you don't need to worry about that. And then, uh, yeah, the final trophy coming up now is just the sunglasses at night and the surge, which is the platinum, which is, unfortunately, uh, it's like half an hour away. <laughs> but, yeah, that's all we have left to do is just pick up some sunglasses. I hate it. <laughs> Why do we have that as a trophy? Pick up some sunglasses. So I'm messing around with the, what my setup there. There's not much to change, really. Uh, a lot of what I do is kind of suicide runs to a degree. I mean, that wasn't the best, was it? Um, just to be to be quick. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, you don't have to. So 
so I will be taking damage. And I die maybe once or twice, but it's uh, yeah, you, you'll know the path where to go. So I'm going to drop down here. We're going to go and rescue Davy. Pick that up. I don't know why. Sometimes you just feel like you have to. We can ignore him. That's not Davy. That's fine. Unless you want some upgrade materials, you can always save him. Dean Hobbs. I even got the drop on him and he still managed to uh, to get some damage in there. So I think that's actually my 9 now, isn't it? For Yeah, I could actually level up at this point. So I did die there. Um, I don't know why, how. I think it was like a one-shot from that guy. It was pretty ridiculous. So, uh, yeah. Here's where Davey is. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to uh, free him again. I'm not going to do it because I already have the trophy. But you, if you, if it glitched on you... You'll still have the Medexanol or whatever it's called in your inventory because it is an implant. So all you need to do is free Davy here, speak to him, get him to go back to the med bay. Um, and then next time you meet him in the med bay, speak to him about the the medicine that he needs. And then you can just give it to him straight away. You don't need to go and find it because you already, you've already got it. Uh, so it doesn't give the game a chance to glitch on you. So get that out of the way. I'm just going to skip through here. All the dialogue. Make sure you exhaust it so he goes back. And then next time you go back, he'll be there and you can do that. Uh, yeah, for some reason, I go into it. I was going to think, oh, just show them which one they want. And I thought, no, I don't have it anymore. I've already done that. <laughs> How can I do that? Dumbass. Never mind. Right, on we go. Now it's pretty much just a, a run to the end. Yeah, just like that. Dead easy. Here's another one of the tough ones, so yeah, <laughs> we're just going to run past him. Lots of hopping around like a little bunny rabbit. Whoa, that was a good hit. So having the uh, the implant that reduces the cost of dodging is, is very good for this. We're actually running through as well. Uh, I'm going to open up this shortcut just, uh, just in case anything happens, and it does. So it's a good idea to do this. Because you'll have to go the long way uh, when you're fighting the boss later as well, in case you die there. But you can always use backup saves if you want to save outside the boss room as well. But with this game not being the best when it comes to actually remembering where you were, you can't always count on it. See, I'm just going to show you the, the quickest path. So downstairs here is where the um, DLC is. So here's a good point to uh, to do your backup save. I will uh, I'll meet you in the the DLC at that point, roughly. All we need to do is get to there, so we can get into it. I'm just gonna skip all this and use iframes here, so I can't take damage going up the lift. I'm going to take the shortcut across the... Well, the safe cut across the bridge. Stay safe. I'll be waiting. We can make it together. Be careful when you drop into here. They're just so quick off the mark, these enemies. It, I'm, I'm there. I'm locked onto him. I, I even do like a... a a plunging R1 attack, which does some damage to him, but he still pushes straight through it with his attack. Yeah, they, they don't mess around. That's gross. <laughs> Why would you even need to do that? What were you, what experiment were you doing? So we don't need to go that way, we need to go left. And go up this ladder. Or oh, not ladder, is it? There's no ladders in this game. Uh, yeah, imagine trying to climb a ladder with this thing on. It is, this is basically what this is, though, isn't it? A ladder. So we're going to go and open up another shortcut. Try and ignore him. This has been again. I'm still waiting at the outbound station. Which is this way. So open up this door here, and, get and that's going to give you the shortcut first. back. So you'll remember where we are. I'm just going to show you, just in case, the red run. There it is. So right back to the med bay there. I know 
Uh, I do a bit of a suicide run here, which is completely stupid. Um, I don't need to hit this switch. I thought this was the correct one. And then I remembered as I got to the bottom, it is not. Uh, so that's not the door switch. So kill the two enemies in this room. Because I'm going to come back upstairs and do it in a minute anyway. I don't know why I didn't just do it. These guys are not difficult at all. They don't even hit that hard. So I'm dancing around waiting for the lift. <laughs> uh, thinking, yeah, look at me go. I managed to get in. They can't get me anymore. And then get to the bottom. As I'm about now, I realise, no, that's not the door switch, is it? The door switch is an overcharge. Yeah. So we've got to go back up. There's an overcharge point in the corner. It's always the way with this. You forget about the overcharges that open the door. Because you don't really think about it while you do it. Uh, playing it normally because you just overcharge everything you see and then the doors already open So I'll just do this the right way first time and There we go and it's in this corner here It's actually not an overcharge this one is it there is another one, that's what I'm remembering. It's, I'm remembering the one in Resolve Biolabs as well. I do it again, unfortunately. But it's it, I don't use the lift. I I, uh, I can't. But yeah, there's a switch there as well. To Resolve Biolabs, if you remember... It, for me, it's the one of the weaker areas of the game. I didn't really like it at all. Uh, and it may have taken you a while because there are some tough elements to it. But we can actually get through it really, really quickly when you're running through. So that's good. And there's no boss, so that's also good. I'm just going to, we actually need to go down there, but there's a tough enemy down there, which you need to fight, so come up here and open the shortcut up. This is obviously the red corridor again. Down there, you know where it is. That's the door halfway down. And then when you get to the bottom here, be careful because there is one of the uh, one-time spawn really tough enemies. He's round the back, but there's also the guy in the middle here. So if you can get the guy in the middle's attention first and get rid of him, he should be simple enough. He's just a normal uh, twin rigged. So you should be able to get rid of him pretty easily. And you want to do it quite quickly because there's going to be a tough guy. Here. And he's... He's fast. He's fast and he hits hard as well. So don't get overconfident with him because he will push through your attacks and kill you really quickly. He's basically like fighting yourself. He's actually using the same weapon, isn't he? I can't quite make it out. He's all over the place. I think it is. Looks like it. Quickly get rid of him. There we go before the other guy comes around. Yeah, it's, it's worth getting rid of that one because you've got to hit a switch in this room to leave it. Uh, you could rely on... What the hell is going on? You could rely on iframes, but... I don't know, he's pretty quick. He's probably going to tear you apart as you come out of them. So you'll need to come up here and uh, hit this overcharge. Now, Joe is in the tunnel here. This is the first place where you meet Joe. Whatever you do, do not give her any scrap anymore. None. That will mess up the sunglasses. So she's in there. She, you can hear her now talking. Completely ignore her. Just keep going. Do not give her any scrap. That will uh, negate the sunglasses. They'll disappear. There'll be a weapon in, in, in their place. I'm just going to run, run, run. Let's get to the boss nice and quick. Oh. Dodge out of the way there. We'll quickly open up a shortcut. Which is up here. Oh, it's through here. The boss is actually through here as well. I could just run past this guy. I don't know why I felt like the need to kill this particular one. And this one. Maybe because maybe it's because they hit me, I don't know. Right, so we'll go up here and we'll uh overcharge this, and this is the lift all the way back up to um to ops to the med bay. So this is definitely something you want to unlock for the boss fight in case anything goes wrong. Which it did for me. The boss fight has this the it has that charge which it, it does quite rarely, but it will one shot you no problem, which it does. I ha I have the boss right down 
to the, the littlest bits of health and a mistimed dodge was all it took at full health and it completely wiped me out so I, I didn't manage to do it first time but that's it's fine I mean we're just trying to get through it's not like I missed anything uh, so I'm going up to upgrade the weapon here uh, I did say I was going to do it so there's uh, stage uh, that's six let's go mark six this is mark seven so you can get the Mark 7 stuff. You can actually skip 6 and go straight to 7 if you wanted to. But it it works out the same price um, with regards to scrap. So you can't go over the top. Uh, it'll still cost you the same. It just splits the cost. None left. So no upgrades for me. Take care. And uh, yeah, it's going to do this boss. So outside the boss room... There is actually um, one of those tough single spawn enemies, that New Game Plus enemies. Uh, and uh, the weird thing happens, I, I don't know, we're going to have a look at it as, I'm, as we're watching now. I leave the first part in and then cut, because I wanted to leave this first part in, because something a bit strange happens. It didn't happen to me on my practice run, um, but it does this time around, and then I'll kind of fade in the middle and we'll move on with the fight. Uh, but this is my first attempt as we're going down here. So she's going to dodge these guys. The second one always likes to do the jump. Uh, that's a shortcut there. We're not going to open because this guy's here. So I'm going to completely avoid him and just run straight into the boss fight. Now, he's not in the boss arena. I checked. I, I, I thought, oh, yeah, let's make sure he's not He's not following us in. Uh, so, yeah, this fight is the same as before. You've done it before. Uh, hit the legs. Break the legs off to get to phase two. Uh, don't go crazy with the, the, the attacking I noticed uh, it's actually best to do 1-2 back away 1-2 when it, it drops its arm down like that because you get sort of stuck underneath it with the lock on it's a bit weird so do a couple of hits uh, and then when it's downed do 1-2 into the joint back away 1-2 and then that's uh, that should cut the leg off so you're going to see where is he? Is he here yet? where is he? no it doesn't turn up yet using the drone as well for the fight and we won't cut the legs off during phase two but if you want this weapon that I'm using right now uh, you'll need to cut its uh, cut all of its legs off during phase two but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to go for the central part so again I'm just being really aggressive here trying to kill the bloody thing um, so that's two legs down I think at this point yes there uh, no where is it he's not here yet it just appears out of nowhere, I swear. There we go. So that's all three legs cut off. That moves us into phase two. This is when it starts using the fire. Uh, so just go for the central part. It actually makes it a bit easier not to, not to cut its legs off. So you're looking for dash. There he is. He drops down. Where the hell did he come from? It's like he ran all the way around to come and get me. But the weird thing is, it actually attacks the boss, or the boss attacks him. Watch them have a little go at each other. There. I haven't seen in this game at all, throughout the whole game, I've not seen any enemies fight each other. And then this guy fights the boss, which was just so strange, but he's actually after me. So he does actually die pretty damn quickly here. That's the dash attack you need to watch out for, that'll one-shot you. Uh, and it does during this attempt. So he's killed that guy now. So I'll actually fade into my, my winning attempt. So the health stays exactly the same. Uh, we're going to be into the same kind of phase. Not that you can actually see the health. But the idea is da uh, dash in one, two, three if you're lucky. And then get out. And then just look for the end of its attacks. Uh, and don't bother with the legs. One, two, three. Back out. And that's kind of what we're doing. I, I keep using the drone. It's kind of habit, especially with this boss. I don't know why. Because there's a lot of downtime with this boss. You know, you're waiting for it to do this fire and what have you. So once it's finished its attack, one, two. Yeah, here we go. Good. When it's doing the, the melee kind of hits, that's good as well. The slam is a good one. I did get a bit too far away that time. Stuck underneath. Yeah, get it against the ropes. No, don't do that. That means you're going to start doing fire again, and we don't want that. One, 
one, two, three. Yeah, it'll go down pretty quickly. You might think of it a disadvantage. Whoa, that wasn't good. Uh, having just a short weapon because you need to get underneath it, obviously. Uh, but actually dashing forward is, is quite a, a long lunge um, with the attack. It's quite a long attack, so uh, you should be able you'll be right underneath it as well to get a few good hits in that there. It's quite a long attack. It's very quick as well. Yeah, the, the one thing you definitely want to look out for is that that dash. Does it do it now? Yeah, that. That, <laughs> that dash will just one-shot you. No matter how much health you have, it's ridiculous. Looking for that opening. That'll do. I'll take a bit of fire damage. I'm not bothered. Plenty of healing items. One more will do it. Come on, it's not doing anything, it's just sat there waiting for me. Yeah, go on, we'll finish it. There we go. Right. That's two two down, one more to go. Bosses, that is. We're just going to run through the next area really quickly and uh, get to that one boss and get to R&D. So the second part of uh, Central Production Beat is really quick. You, you can just run through the whole section. So uh, once we get back from Resolve Biolabs, it's, it's very quick after that. So you know where we are, hopefully. It's the bridge leading to the second part, but we need to obviously go down here first. You can open, this, open up, I was going to do it, and I thought, no, I'll do it on the way back. <laughs> the shortcut, that's, uh, that opens up the shortcut, back to where the boss was just then. Um, so yeah, we'll open that up, in case you die on the way up the tower. Although you just spawn back here at the train, so it doesn't make much difference, to be honest. Yeah, so here we are. Very, very quick section. A lot quicker than you'd remember, I, I would, uh, I'd imagine. What are we going for? Level? You don't have any upgrade materials. Or do you? Oh, you do have some. There you go. So yeah, if you do have some, obviously use them. I didn't think I had any. Helps out a little bit, I suppose. Not much. But it'll do. And then, uh, yeah, we'll do a bit of a run, a suicide run. Please remain in operations while security lockdown is in effect. So there's a DLC. We don't need that. Well, we will need it eventually, but not now. There is not... Yeah, there's a tough guy here, a uh, New Game Plus enemy. He's here. He's going to come bursting through those boxes. He's there. Just keep going. Run up these steps. Drop down. Uh, yes, I did die. It was actually a laser. It was this guy here that killed me, surprisingly. I was I was killing the guys at the bottom end down here without a problem. I'd done two of them or whatever. And then um, I just got hit by a laser from the left-hand side. Um, and it one shot me there. It happened again. <laughs> so yeah, it's the, that's the other drone coming through. They do a lot, a damn a lot more than you remember. I kind of you could just kind of forget about them during regular playthrough. They were fine. So yeah, so you do have to fight these because you have to get the the activate the lift. And then after that, we're free to run around. Something always dies as you go up that lift. I have no idea what it is. I, I can't figure out what because I killed the two drones. I, I don't actually know what dies as you go up that lift, but something does. 
That wasn't very good, was it? Just dodge past him. And then I'm going to make a run for the shortcut. You don't have to, but uh, just in case you need it or you feel like you want it, uh, we're going to do that quickly. So you'll need to get the attention of this one, kind of this side, so it goes past you. And then it gives you enough time to use this. Although you will have iframes as you're using this. But just in the, the hope that it doesn't actually charge you. Which it does. Good. Uh, there's this, I think there's a new game plus guy that comes out that container there. And you're going to want to quickly run open this door. Get through. And uh, go, don't fall down. But interact with the lift. And uh, that's going to be unlocked for you to use in case anything happens. But this is a very quick uh, area so you should be okay. It's not too dangerous either. You only really need to fight the uh, two flamethrower guys at the end. The rest you can kind of skip. So that's what we're going to do. Bit of tearing there. I wonder what's going on. I've had twice in this video. So I'm going to skip you. Run down to the left here. We're going to skip you. Go straight up to the left hand side. I'm going to skip all the bots and everything. You don't have your security rig, uh, uh, by the way, so you can't get through any security doors. You need to reobtain that. For your own safety, avoid the following sectors: laboratories and the greenhouse facility. And then this this is the other room where I forget about the overcharge for the, it's there to the left. Um, but yeah, I was just concentrating on getting through. And then uh, we're going to stand in the lift and realise it doesn't actually go anywhere, which is a bit annoying. So yeah, don't forget about the drone in the corner. Don't go standing on that, waking it up. I don't know why I attacked this. I could have just left it and done the, the, the overcharge, but there we go. And now I'm stuck with a stupid slow-mo and no energy, no stamina. Yeah, overcharge this, that activates the lift. Hundred and five you need to open that nano core. So that's why we do, did all of the upgrades during new game, because you'd have to play a lot of new game plus to get all the upgrades again. A lot. Hundred and five is a lot because the, the levels are really expensive now. So you want to be cautious here. Not You can still pretty much run through, but we do need to fight a couple of things here. This one mainly. He's going to obviously attack straight off the bat. But he's quick. He's, he's easy enough. And then in this room here, you're going to want to clear it out to a certain extent. There's a drone and there's a guy that you, want, you probably want to clear out because they're quick. And then you've got the, um, the four-legged drone, which you can just leave. And that's what I'll do. Getting a bit close to that one on the floor there. We don't have to want to have to bother with that. Thought we'd get the finish there, but we did not. Which is fine. I want to get this guy's attention and then get him away from that four-legged drone. Because I don't want to have to deal with those two together. How did, I, did, I took some damage then. I was just looking, I was watching. I took some damage, but I don't know what from, because it was a very small amount. Well, there you go. Anyway, I'm going to just sneak through. I'm going to hit this before <laughs> the drone comes through, and then quickly open this door up. You can fight it if you want to. I just don't want to. <laughs> Let it go crazy. I don't care. Go for it. I just want to get through. So you've got the drone, the two drones in here, you could probably just run straight through to be fair. But if you do go through quite quickly, there is one of the uh, enemies at the back. He's going up the stairs now, so that's what I'm just waiting for a moment. Because he'll follow you, so just give him a moment and then run past and down here. And that's it, that's Resolve Biolabs done. We've just got to kill the two fire, the flame uh, thrower guys. Open up the door to the doctor's office. Uh, grab the upgrade for the drone and go. We don't actually need to speak to her. I will do, but uh, you don't actually need to speak to her. You just need to get get the uh, the upgrade for the drone and get out of there. 
So again with these two try and get them to fire at the same time and then try and punch your attacks through both of them if you can. And don't get overconfident because they... Uh, whoa, that was close. <laughs> Be ready to heal. Yeah, I'll go, th I'll go the long way around so he can't get me. Okay, and then she's going to talk. I'm just going to skip that. I'm just going to stand at the door. Uh, Chavez is going to talk. And then the door will open up. And then you can uh, go in and grab the upgrade. So this on here is actually all we need. The uh, the upgrade. I was going to leave, but <laughs> talk to you don't need to, honestly. I'm just going to skip through it. It's just for that one ending, isn't it? You know, she gives you the uh, the the drive or the key card or something like that. Like that. I don't actually know what the item is. Can't remember what it is. We'll find out in a moment. Yeah, data chip. So that's for one of the endings. If you're doing that again, you'll need it. And then uh, open up, and we'll go back to central production B. And then we've just got one boss fight. We need to run through the area, but it's really quick. Hello. And then, uh, yeah, done. Nine videos for this. I was not expecting just nine videos for this game when I was uh, when I did the practice. It took me a lot longer, I will admit. I don't know why I'm saving that. I have no intention of ever keeping this save file. I'm going to revert back a bit. For the uh, the DLC. Next stop, Central Production B, outbound trains. Come on, on you get. I don't know why that. He usually steps on, doesn't he? Obviously not having it this time. And now we just need to run, 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 all the way to the top. You can kill these if you want. I think get rid of the first one here. Because I didn't want them both at the bottom end. But yeah, you just need to open up, use the drone to open up the, uh, the door and you can carry on. Send it up. Might as well kill someone while I'm waiting. Now we're clear. Hey, he won. The flamethrower guy died. So we'll ignore you. You won't have the... Uh, I don't think I have it equipped anymore. The um, the gas upgrade. If There is gas that we need to uh, for the sunglasses. But um, we can just use the helmet for that that we've got. Yeah, don't get turned around. Don't go that way. Go down here. Don't go down the stairs, though. No, don't. No, 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 don't. <laughs> no, we'll go this way. And then round, and then that's it. You've pretty much skipped everything. Tried to that pick up that item while running. There, that if you, uh, heal if you need it. There was a New Game Plus guy that was on the left as we came up the first set of stairs as well, so watch out for him. And there's a New Game Plus guy that is here. Watch this. It's quite funny, so I left it in. <laughs> wow, okay. So that's going to do me like that. So I didn't. I missed that jump. Had I not missed that jump, I would have been fine and made it. So I did a quick run back. I'm on fire apparently and then we'll make the jump this time and that's it we're at the top of the tower we've just got to do the boss now uh, so one thing I'll just mention quickly because I don't actually do it and I found out that it's actually going to help you in the DLC if you go and do the DLC is you go to the right now uh, there's a room there that where we got the the rig upgrade in the first playthrough go and grab that it will be there be behind the glass so go in through the door uh, there's glass on the left hand side, break it and then pick up the upgrade there. It's going to help in DLC if you do that because you'll get a few extra slots. So yeah, I just mentioned that. Uh, ignore Joe up here, I don't think she'll actually be here so you don't, <laughs> you won't be able to speak to her. But yeah, don't give her any scrap obviously. And then we'll go and uh, open up the shortcut. Uh, go and rest. At the, I don't, and I, I find out the hard way. Um, of course, you'll respawn back at the train if you die against this boss. And this boss can be a bit of a pain. So interact with the thing, the, the lift here, and then go down to the med bay and interact with that to make sure that that's your checkpoint. So in case you die here, because this boss is a pain in the ass. <laughs> so 
So it's not it's not difficult. You know what to do. You've done it before. It just I don't know. It catches you off guard. We're going to do it properly this time. Um, but yeah, it's 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 exactly the same. So I'm yeah, I did die. So yeah, don't drop off as well because um, you'll die. You need to wait for the the platforms to come in into place. But it's uh, the same as last time for stage one, at least, anyway. So, one, two, three. Back away and just wait for the claws to come through. One, two, three. Get hit by a laser, because of course. And then we're actually going to hit the arms. We're going to break the arms off in the middle part. They are horrible to fight. They really, really are. But they can really mess you up at the bottom end if you get stuck in a corner they can really that's what killed me so I decided we'll uh, we'll just get rid of them this time the drones actually gonna come in helpful for getting rid of the arms to a certain degree but they set you on fire really quickly really easily and that's the problem I think There's no health left. How's it got both claws left? There's no health. One claw. Oh no, it knocked me down. Yeah, have your healing items ready to go on this bit. And then knock that claw off and get ready to go up here. So, yeah, you want to stick to one claw at a time. And don't lock on is probably the best idea. It naturally does kind of try to lock on for you. But that is the worst part. When it does that spin... So you kind of want to wait for it to do that and then kind of back away a bit and leave it as it does that spin. But uh, yeah, the other ones can get you if you walk into the middle as well, so it's a bit of a pain. If your drone's ready, fire the drone off. It'll do quite a bit of damage to it. But do one side at a time. Yeah, that, that attack is the worst part. That, that one spinning attack it does. It's impossible to see down here because it, it, I didn't lock on. But it automatically did it. Once you've got one side done, don't go back to the other side again. The the floor will become electrified. So you can't go back over there. And then, yeah, once you've done one side, that's the hard part. Whoa, that was close. That's the, I was going to say that's the hard part done, but apparently not. Right, we're okay. We're nearly there. It's doing the lasers when you're on this side as well, which is a bit annoying. So much fire damage, it's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, we're clear. Okay, we're done. So, oops, watch where you're going, watch where you're going. Electrified floor, watch out for that happening as well. And then uh, lock on to this guy. And it's actually a lot easier to fight if it's just you and him. Because you don't have to worry about the arms coming at you. And it's just the same as before. If it does that attack, just stay underneath it until it does the attack. One, two, three. And then just wait and move. You've got plenty of time to move out of the way. And as it opens up, do a couple of attacks. Watch what it's going to do. Don't stand underneath it. That's the best. That's the best attack you want it to do. Is that because you get an easy three hit after it? The slam's a bit of a weird one. It's opened up, but you can't do damage to it. It doesn't seem to take damage. It only occasionally does. on that one. Oh no, watch out for the grab. <laughs> Getting a load of damage on it that time. I can't get away. Oh, only at the last minute there. And of course you've got basically infinite healing items when doing this if you have that uh, implant on still because you get so much power and energy from hitting this thing all the time that you can just heal through everything and then once this guy's down which he's about to be do we, what do we get one more corner attack I think it is on this one no yeah one more corner attack and he's down and we are done so all we've got to do is get to R&D and then that's it 
so if you're going to be doing the DLC, then uh, yeah, you can carry on pretty much from when this video finishes. That's where I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up in R and D, and I'll carry on from there. Or you can make uh, make sure you don't overwrite that save, that one from new game, and then you can also go back to new game because you can scrap this playthrough. Uh, you're not going to be doing any else, anything else. So if you want to do it in new game, you can do it there. Um, or you can carry on in New Game Plus, which is what I'll be doing. It is a little bit more difficult. You might find it a bit more difficult to start with. You'll obviously be okay by the end, but uh, if you do struggle with the first DLC that I do, I'll explain on that video, but if you do struggle with that one, you can always go and do the other DLC and level yourself up a bit. But I had to do it that way because that's the way I recorded it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I'm going to go through here. Got items I don't actually need. Here we go. <laughs> I'm never going to use them. Getting turned around here. It's this one, right? So fall down here. It's going to take us into R&D. Almost made it all the way across. <laughs> and then when you drop down, you'll need to equip a the helmet. You should still have it from the beginning of the game when we used it. If not, if you if you don't have a helmet or anything like that, or the kind of rebreather, I'm having a look if I actually still have it. It doesn't look like I do have it there. Uh, then it doesn't matter the implant, just put the uh, liquidator helmet on and you'll be fine because there's going to be a load of gas appearing here but all you need to do is send the helicopter up you'll survive the gas anyway and if you do die the door will be open, you can just run to it hit the switch go inside, pick up the sunglasses that's it, platinum done <laughs> right, if, uh, if you're doing the DLC, I'll see you on the DLC if not, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Congratulations.